In this video, I'm going to cover an example SAT problem where you need to solve a system of nonlinear equations. So we see here we have two functions, y equals the quantity x plus 3 times the quantity x minus 7, and y equals x minus 7. So I can tell from the first function it's going to be a quadratic or a parabola. I'm going to end up with an x squared if I fail that. So that's going to give me a parabola. The second equation, y equals x minus 7, that's going to be a line. And I can tell because the highest exponent on the variable is a 1. So we have three possibilities of this system of equations here. Either I'm going to you know, strike a line through here and, and meet at two different spots. Or I can meet right at the vertex for one point, one solution, or somewhere below the whole parabola where there's no solutions. So typically with this type of problem, you want to use substitution. So I'm going to replace the y in the first one with x minus 7. So it's going to be x minus 7 equals x plus 3 times x minus 7. Now you might be tempted to divide both sides by x minus 7 to get rid of both of them, but you end up with just one x value and you only get one solution. You know, if we're in a case where it hits the parabola twice, you won't get both points. So what I'm going to do here is FOIL the right side. So that gives me x times x or x squared. x times negative 7 gives me negative 7x. 3 times x is 3x. And 3 times negative 7 is negative 21. And left side stays x minus 7. So on this right side, I can combine like terms. Negative 7x plus 3x is negative 4x. So I have x squared minus 4x minus 21. And x minus 7 on the left side. Now I want to move everything to the right side. So I'm going to subtract 1x and add 7 to both sides. It's going to give me 0 equal to x squared minus 5x minus 14. All right, so now I need to factor. So I need two numbers that multiply to give me negative 14 and add up to negative 5. So that's going to be 7 and 2. And the 7 needs to be negative. And two positive, so that adds up to negative 5. Now you can set both of those equal to 0. x minus 7 equals 0. And x plus 2 equals 0. You can solve these. So subtract 2 from both sides. x equals negative 2. Add 7 to both sides here. And x equals 7. So we have negative 2 or 7 for the x value. And the only choice we have here is the positive 7. Now another way to solve this problem, if you notice, each of these have an x minus 7 in them. Now if I plug in 7, I'll have 7 minus 7 here, give me 0, and then a y would equal 0, because it would be 0 times whatever x plus 3 is. It doesn't matter. It would be 7 or be 10, but in this case, it doesn't matter. It be 0 times whatever it would give you 0. So you end up with 7 comma 0. If I also plug in 7 into the other one, I'll have 7 minus 7, and that'll give me 0. Another 7 comma 0. So right away, I can get the answer by doing that. So that saved me a lot of time. So the first time I showed you how to do it algebraically, but here, if you look at it more closely, you can solve this just within a few seconds. Mm -hmm. 